Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is CJ Zikao. Welcome to my channel Ezek. And today we're gonna to be making this tutorial here. This little project here is a camera app. You can use your browser, you're gonna use your browser to access your camera and um can actually work on your mobile phone, but this one I think mm, things should be picking your back camera for the moment if you're on your, if you're on your mobile device. So um without much ado, let's let's start. So these are another additional features I added to it. When you click, okay, let me make it a full screen first. When you click, it's gonna take a screenshot. You snap, that's gonna actually take a snapshot. Uh, you snap different postures, blah, blah, blah. So you go down to this place to check. Okay, let's, let's add a strammo. Okay, two, three, uh, four, and whatever. So we we'll go down to this place and we we'll see different snapshots we have taken. So when you refresh, uh, it's gonna delete all of them automatically, and we can start taking different shots again. So, if you are maybe if you are if you are not on a live server, it will actually request for you to to give the camera permission before you can take this snapshot. Just allow, just click allow when the prompt comes up. So, um, about the clarity of the camera here, my lighting and everything is not really properly set. What if I'm just kind of using it as an example here? So just just don't mind the cut light and everything. Just focus on the video itself. Okay, um, let's shrink back our screen. And before we continue, guys, this is my folder here. This camera snap black dot SVG is this SVG icon here. This snapshot SVG icon here. And this is my project folder. Sorry, my project page, current project page. And uh, this is our camera.js, index.html, and style.css. Okay, before we continue, guys, I would so much appreciate it if you can take your time. To subscribe to the channel like the video make a comment any way that is benefited in any way kind of any project it helped you in please just let me know in the comment section if there's any other kind of videos you want me to make um let's say like our three different people kind of have different uh, opinion about the next video they want me to make i will have to consider which one i will go with first because i can't really make the whole three at the same time so i will kind of consider the one that can benefit maybe higher percentage of the subscribers um so that is just it about that one and I noticed something in the channel recently. I've been noticing some subscriptions in the channel. I want to say thank you so much. If you are, if you are, if you are, if you are kind of watching at the moment and you are one of those people that subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you from the depth of my heart. I'm so much encouraged. If you notice, I've not been posting, but when I began to see the increase in the subscription, it kind of really encouraged me a lot. It means a lot. This subscription really means a lot from you guys. Thank you so much. So let's kick in. Um, let me go to my second screen. Okay. I'm gonna have to use my M8 to spit out the boilerplate. Okay, let's name it Camera App with JS. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, let's let me just check something here. One. Ah, oh, perfect. Just gotta be sure that one is working. Let's bring in our style link CSS. Okay, that one is been taken care of. Now let's start with the there's a div which we're gonna call container dot container create our container class and uh, let's our uh, second class called camera video let's make that then our h1 we're gonna call it camera with js Just make camera camera app. I'll make it official. Camera app with JS. Okay. Uh, what's next? We're gonna bring in our video, our video, our video tag, our video element. Before we get to the source, let's give it an idea of video. I'm not even sure if we're gonna use this ID here. A class of what? What class did I give it here? Mm, no class, just the ID. Uh, no problema. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a width. I'm gonna give it a width of um, okay, there's no source either here. So let me remove this. Uh guys, you gotta bear with me a bit. It's been quite a many months ago since I made this project and I'm just I'm just reviewing it now. Okay, uh let's say the width is gonna be five hundred. 500 and the height is going to be 340 
Okay, guys. Um, about this with the height uh, dimensioning thing here, you guys are gonna have to be uh, checking. You're gonna have to be playing around, around with it. You find the one that matches your system, the one that you're comfortable with. It's not really definite. There are some dimension you use, and it's gonna be cutting the snapshot by half. So the head, uh, you, you might want to take a snapshot, and the thing will just kind of take it from face. There's a half, half of the face upward. You can just take it and just um, erase the other one. So just keep on tinkering with these values until you are satisfied with them. Okay, so the next one is going to be the button. The ID is going to be snap. An ID is going to be snap. Okay. Um, we're going to create another class here. We we'll call it camera snapshot. Underneath the button, I think. No, not underneath the button. That's underneath the camera video class. Camera snapshot. All right. Then within the camera snapshot, uh, we're going to be having a... We're also going to give it an ID. I don't know, we might use that ID later, but even if we don't, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. Of camera. Camera snapshot, <laughs> camera snapshot. All right, so that one is taken care of already. So we, yeah, I think that's basically it about that. So let's bring in a script so we don't forget. I usually forget that. Sauce, it's gonna be camera.js. Voila, okay. I think that's it with that. Let's refresh. Okay, doesn't make, doesn't reflect yet. So let's go to our CSS. You know the usual drill. We're padding everything to zero pixel and we imagine everything to zero pixel and we box size everything to border box. Then we're gonna go to the HTML. Together with the body, and we're gonna give it a background color of RGB, and values are gonna be sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Let's see what that gives us. Perfecto. Okay, here's our button here, looking all tiny and weird. Okay, so we're gonna use um font family of Saga. Saga UI light. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna give it a color of so is that uh is this my color that everyone who is familiar with CSS website programming is familiar is, is already aware of some kind of um darker shade of white or should I say lighter shade of black? You know how we put it. Okay. Uh next one's gonna be the gonna choose the camera. Yes, I'm gonna to try to rush this CSS aspect here so I can focus more on the JavaScript. Camera video. Which is gonna be, oh boy. Which is gonna be 100%. Then the display is gonna be flex. Flex direction is going to be column. Okay, um, justify content center. Align items center. Okay, let's check original. All right. Um, next is going to be the the video. So we'll go here. Okay, you know what? Let me give this let me give this a bit of recognition here. Let's let's say kind of a defining 
a bound box here. This this is solid and red. Okay. All right. It's not that bad. At least it he, he, he makes this a little bit comprehensible. Okay. Video. The video element itself. I'm gonna give it a margin of ten pixel. Zero pixel. Okay. Let's deal with that button. Oh, background. Background is gonna be URL camera snap dot sorry lack dot svg did it reflect i think it did here i think it's this tiny this tiny thing here okay next we're gonna say back Ground position should be center background repeat no repeat background size sixty percent and uh, with the width is going to be 50 pixel. Height will be 50 pixel. Let's see what that gives us. Wow, that's great. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Okay. Border radius, border radius 50 pixel too. Not here. So yeah. Okay, um outline none. Okay. Border none. Okay, matching button ten pixel. Let me take a look at the original. I think I'm not seeing a little bit of differences here. I'm um, correct. Okay, let's see how we can fix that up. Okay. Okay, let's 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 wrap up with this one here. Let's see. Button on hover. Background. Let's just copy this. We just copy the whole of this one here. I didn't really take time to work on how to fix this thing to make it much more uh sense much more better. Okay. So um transitions. Oh okay. Yeah, the I'm also gonna give it a color. RGB and the red is gonna be 255 five, just basically gonna be the, the red then this is gonna be zero this is gonna be zero and I'm gonna give it an alpha an alpha of 0 0.725 0 0.725 right oh, 727 okay here we go Okay, yeah, this is why I missed it. Thought as much. Here I give it a red, a red color here as well. I omitted that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's that one is taken care of. Now let me remove this border here. It's not relevant much. Border pixel, where are you? Yeah, let me turn this off. There's no need for it. Okay, so that one is taken care of. So let's deal with the camera snapshot itself. That should be the that's gonna be this this guy down here all right
background color RGB okay two five five two five five two five five and an alpha of point zero two one okay some shots okay what we got here why is it not reflecting let's go for screen and see what we got here it is not showing okay let's see what made the other one different yeah let's go to the height first we haven't given it height really 200 pixel imagine auto um with 95 percent so it's display yeah we got it i think don't we yeah we do here it is okay with 95 percent display flex displays flex overflow overflow x scroll padding three pixel one point five pixel okay so I think we are we are done with this little part here so now let's deal with this over bloated this is our over bloated Java the hot kind of scroll button here okay let's deal with width first now we're gonna deal with this track this scroll this scroll button here whoa behave yourself okay drop this down a little Okay. Okay, so with or this tracker or this scrubber, we're gonna say that camera snapshot here. Then we say webkit. Webkit scroll. Webkit scrubber gonna be height five pixel so so it's uh, you can actually see it right now because it's gonna need a lot of pictures in there to be able to show itself again but let's just let's just put it in the nonetheless the next one is gonna be the track the track is gonna be okay let's just copy just copy this place. Scroll back track. And uh, background is going to be F1, F1, F1. It's going to be F1, F1, F1. And uh, okay, I think I use transparent. Just let's remove this. Let's just remain consistent with the previous, previous one. Yeah, let's just let's just type in the code. We're gonna see the effect in a short while. Let's let's duplicate. Let's duplicate here. Okay, the next one is gonna be the handle. I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a video about this scroll option here. I think that should be the next thing I'll do. I'm gonna make a video about this with CSS about how to manipulate this, how to handle this some um, scroll options, just a fancy way to. I, I think I'll do something like that. And if you think that's okay, you can also let me know in the comment section below. Okay, the next one is gonna be the handle, right? So the and it's called thumb. So in the place of track, we say thumb. And background color is gonna be one eight seven one eight seven one eight seven RGB, of course. One eighty seven. Come on, one eighty seven. 
one. It is seven. Ah, for channel, no. Okay, great. Let's take these ones out. Okay, um, the next is gonna be border radius 50 pixel. Let's remove this. Fifty pixel. Okay, so I think that's basically it about that. So when we begin to load these pictures here, the effect is gonna shape up. And let's get our camera. Let's check our HTML. See if we have put our if we have brought in our, our our JavaScript. And yes, we have. Okay. Wow. Uh, let's try to let's try to hurry this up. First of all, I'm gonna say. Let's bring in the element. Bring an element and then create the settings. ETC, whatever else we're still gonna have to do. So say variable video document dot get element by ID. So we are picking this. We're picking this video element here. This video element here. So we're picking it. We're just gonna use the old fashioned get element by ID. Okay, with that one taken care of. Next is gonna be get access to the camera. Now this is where this stuff start to get tricky. We say if I'm gonna split. I'm gonna split the why. Let me get that media devices and navigator dot media devices dot get user media right dot get user media. Now let's let's take a look at this uh, these methods and other methods that follow them and this last method here. Now navigate is a JavaScript function, JavaScript method that gets some information concerning the browser. So I'm thinking the browser's name, uh, I think version, but let's let's do a little bit of uh, testing here. Let's go to our console. F eleven is it? Okay, F twelve. Okay, let's bring this down a bit and let's reduce this. It's kind of a bit much. Okay, let's see navigator here. Enter. Now, it's going to give us some, some basic information about our browser. App code name, Mozilla, blah, blah, blah. App name, Netscape, a vendor, Google Inc., vendor sub, no name, product sub, 20030, blah, 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 blah. Then you can, you, you, you're not going to start seeing um, uh, Bluetooth. Method for Bluetooth, one access Bluetooth, clipboard, then connection, credentials, geolocation, maybe for mobile devices and whatever this one does, and um, language. So this media devices, I think that is the one here. If we go under it, we'll get uh, on device change. So this, this, this are the, these are the method that helps you to assess the capabilities uh, of the browser. Yeah, couple like the camera, the Bluetooth, the audio, and the rest of them. So, if we go back now, if we go back now and say dot media devices and enter, let's see what it gives us. We can now see the get user media here. So, just in general, there's still a much more deeper explanation for this, a much more better understanding. You can read these ones online, or maybe, maybe I might even make a short video about it you can just let me know in the comment section below um this are uh, this is gonna this are uh, this is what is gonna help you to get access to the camera and the audio perhaps the bluetooth but I'm not, I'm not too sure about that one but get access to the camera and whatnot so that is just basically it so let's close this up and shrink this thing down so we say navigator media devices dot media so this line of code up here want to check first if navigator.media devices, if the devices we want actually in the in the browser, the browser supports it or can access it. If it cannot, it will return back an error. Navigator.media device.get user media. 
dot get user media and we say what do we want we want a video to be true that means we want the video we do not want the audio that's why we did not say audio true so we're interested in the video and the video alone so next one is gonna be this one is gonna be what is it here um just a moment there guys okay yeah i'm gonna say dot then this is actually some kind of javascript um uh previous ecmascript versions so you can actually use something much more current to do this a function stream and open the colors the color braces and we say video dot source object equals to video dot play we call it play method let's see if we if we got it working what is this message here okay continue blocking camera says always allow HTTP to assess your camera camera blocked page has been blocked from assessing your camera no problem let's turn this off let's close this all together and refresh allow done okay here we go here we go whoa i expect this guy to begin a stream what's going on the page may need to reload before the new settings take effect done Okay, let me close this all together and turn this off. Go live again. Oh, okay. Where's the problem coming from? Uh, all right, guys. I think I fixed a little problem here. It's uh, concerning this. It should not be on play. The method is only play. Okay, here we go now we've got our camera uh, the camera is actually active now just like this previous one but the next thing we need to do is to add a functionality for taking snapshots so that's the next thing we're going to do right now okay uh, we already have excuse me we already have um a video it's a video uh, variable here we're gonna we're gonna make use of it because we'll be taking we're gonna be taking um we're gonna be taking the snapshot from this video here okay let's go so we're gonna say we're gonna bring in extra our other variables I think we can actually do it on top here we say variable camera shot camera short I think I should <laughs> let me just make this a full screen camera short <coughs> document dot get element by ID We're gonna get a camera snapshot. Okay, camera snapshot. Let's go camera. 
and let's make sure we're not getting anything wrong here. Camera shot is assigned to document.getElementById camera snapshot. Or rather, let's go camera snapshot. Okay, get by the camera snapshot. Let's, let's take this. Ctrl C to copy it and bring it in here just to make sure we don't make any mistake. We don't have any typo here. Post. Okay, which other one do we need here? Um, We're going to need a canvas shot as well. I think that's basically it. The canvas shot. Let's bring in another property here. Another element rather. Canvas short. We're gonna bring in the canvas class. Just let's make sure the thing is properly reflecting. Or we're getting the correct thing. Okay. It seems like we don't actually have that in our HTML, but that is not a problem. We're going to generate that to JavaScript altogether. All right. So what's the next thing we're going to do now? We want to create the, create the functionality. Oh, right there, let's, functionality. Okay. So we're gonna start with a good old fashioned document dot sorry add event listener. I'm gonna say camera dot add event listener. On click. We want the action to happen any time we click. On click, uh, we're gonna call a function called mouse over. Short. You can actually name it anything you want, just anything that is convenient for you, easy to remember and work with. Then we're gonna create our function. Let's copy this, go up a bit. Okay. Uh Event Let's actually check to be sure dot log Let's log the event and see what we got That's right. Okay, since like we're not pick okay event dot target, let's see event dot target. Ah, oh, we may am I making a mistake here? Mouse over mouse over shot. Okay, the function is properly created. Camera shot picks with property exactly. Camera shot picks. Okay, camera snapshot, which is this button. Whoa, camera snapshot should be should be this button here let me see what i got here camera snapshot okay that is not a job we're working with right now no we're not working with this at the moment so let's let's comment this out Let's continue moving. Uh, we have array dot from. Seems like we need to code all this stuff out to actually see them see them function. Array dot from. Array dot from. Canvas shot. Canvas shot dot forage. Dot forage function. Mm -hmm. 
console log shop. Okay, that's the button. Shot is the button. Okay. Oh, let me let me be very certain here. No, that's snap. Sorry. Short is not a button, that's snap, okay. Let's um mouse over short. Okay. This let's trigger for the take now. I'll move down from here. Document don't get element by ID. Document that get element by this snap now. We're gonna be making use of this this button here. Snap. We're gonna make use of this button here, snap. Okay, so say dot add event listener. On click. Dot on click. Click the function. We're gonna run a function and now call it braces. Okay, now canvas equals a document dot create element. Gonna be creating an element called canvas. Then we're also gonna get the context. So gonna get the context. We can say canvas dot get context. Check what we got. Let's refresh it. At least we get this. We get this down here. All right. On the next stuff, we're gonna say. Guys, I'm actually checking my second screen here. I'm not doing this at the top of my head. <laughs> Alright, so we say camera shot. Well, let's let's see if we can give it margin first. Okay, this one works properly. Alright. Let's give it a margin. Let's give it some margin here. We will say canvas the style. I don't or we can do that later all right let's see um let's give it a class name say canvas dot class name equals to canvas say console log canvas Let's see what we got here. This is not meant to be clickable. I don't know where I'm getting that from. This is not meant to be clickable, so which means the whole of this one. Really, the whole of this. All of this has got to be commented out because this is not meant to be clickable. Yeah. Very good. When I call upon this, the canvas is actually created with a class of canvas. 
So I guys think this line of code is irrelevant. There is no need for it. It's relevant. So I think I might just I might just delete it when I'm done. Okay. Um next I'm gonna say camera shot which is camera shot let's see camera shot that's camera snapshot camera snapshot yeah camera shot yeah let's see camera snapshot which is this which is this yeah which is this dark lighter darker box here okay I'm gonna say camera shot and append child we're gonna append gonna be appending we're gonna be appending the that append append child we we'll append canvas okay so next We're gonna draw context dot draw image. We we'll call this method here. Where do you wanna pick the image from? Excuse me, from the video. We don't want it. Excuse me. We don't want it. Start zero, zero. And what is gonna be the dimension? I think that should be the width and the height. Say so two eighty and two hundred. Let's see what we got. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. But it seems like this is still giving a little bit of problema. Okay. Okay, I've even our screw bar has come up. Let's work on this a bit. This space is kind of too much. It's not like this one here. This one captures more. This one only captures half of the face. Why this one captures actually more quality list. Let's go back. Now I'm gonna go back to this place and say canvas.width. Dot width equals to 280. Canvas dot height is equals to two hundred. Then let's add the margin. Canvas dot style dot margin. Zero pixel top and bottom, ten pixel left and right. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, see, simple problem. Okay, not truly, really, not precisely. Okay, one point five pixel, not ten pixel. <laughs> Silly me. One point five pixel. Okay, yeah, perfect. We've gotten that sorted out. I think we are basically done with the video. Okay, guys, now let's let's properly test this stuff. Okay, pick it and uh, pick this and let's see. Come on, this so uh, that is quite that. You can take as many snapshots as you want, and when you're done with it, you just refresh. So that is it, basically, guys. I want to say thank you very much if you have stayed with me to the very end of this video. And I hope to see you in the next one, please. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and comment. Your subscription encourages and it helps me a lot. And any comment you have, let me know. And please also share to your friends. Encourage them to, uh, be, uh, to check out some other videos in the channel. I know the channel is quite young, Sha, but any patronage is highly appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye.